Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D. We on my secondary channel, Damn D Live News. So make sure if you're new to this channel, man, y'all hit that like button. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, man. And it seemed like Hassan Campbell is back in the beef. Back in the beef, and he's about to play some audio. Now, I don't know if this audio is new to y'all, but it's new to me. All right, so uh, as I said, I don't know if it's new to y'all, but it's new to me. So I'm gonna play this audio that Hassan Campbell leaked of WAG 100, you know, saying what he was saying. Now, some of it is old, but at the end, I didn't hear, I never heard of the ending part. So let's get it, fair use, fair use, fair use. This is why I had to write, speak on it. No guy gets first deals, whack in, whack game, went to tour, the thing we about to sign, big you calling the labels. Tell them you'll snake us and they'll give you the deal just because they take kids up. We did the whole play. Oh, so you and Big U did the whole play. Saying that they faked the beef just to get Nipsey Hussle signed? I never heard that part before. Faking like y'all was beefing with each other so y'all could get Nipsey the deal. Mm. So is you and Big U still faking and playing everybody as if like y'all really, really beefing? Boy, this boy, this internet stuff. Not even internet entertainment stuff, boy. You don't know who to trust. Well, that's why I don't, I don't trust nobody in, in the entertainment. I'm glad I'm not in the entertainment even to trust anybody. But, you know, I take entertainment as what it is. Entertainment. Nothing in the entertainment world I take seriously and I imply it in my real life. So, you know, all this stuff is it's just sad to, you know, sad to hear what people would do just for views, just for clout, just for money. The same way y'all was doing the music industry? Are oh, y'all doing that to the regular people too? Acting like y'all happy? Did you not just hear what Wax said out of his mouth? Act tell Big U, hey, watch your mouth, bro. I said, you blow this slick shit into your toes. I said, uh, I wonder what the world would think if they knew right the nigga died, you trying to get me to go out to 30% of all this shit because you said you had a contract on it. You know what I told you? 30%. The nigga, hey, bro, you want to push that while you alive? I'm not fucking with that, that's punk shit. You was just hanging with the nigga. The nigga died. Now you want to go play 30 percent? That's it. Now that's the nigga that I might have a call. That's crazy right there, man. So I never heard that part before right there. So y'all leave a comment down below. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about I saw I can't leaking out some new audio. Um let me see you what else this little snake ball we're talking about. Need I play anymore? Yeah. What about your friends? I play along with this charade because I told y'all from the jump. I don't believe that Big U and Wack is really beefing with each other. I never thought that Wack 100 and I don't know, man. I, I, I think I think all this is a little attention grabbing. You know what I mean? Even Hassan Campbell coming out. You know what I mean? I, I think all this ain't ain't nothing but click and views. I, th I think all this stuff is about clicking views, man. At, th at the end of the day. So, these YouTube niggas, these internet, social, social media will have you do some crazy things for a piece of change. Because they play divide and conquer tactics with the industry. That's how they got Nipsey signed. Whack, you, you heard Wack say they act like they were feuding with each other so they could get a Nipsey through the back door. And they got him in. But at the same time, the same dudes that got Nipsey his contract was the same dudes that tried to destroy him. But notice that uh, Dub C and them, and them dudes, man, they have no, they ask no questions, no part about, they skipped all around that. Yeah, man. So I just want to play that right quick, man. Uh, I think that's the only thing that I want to highlight. Because then he started talking about some whole mumbo jumbo, whole bunch of other crap. Um, you know how Hassan Kim would be talking from topic to topic. He'd be jumping from topic to topic. And he, he just can't stay on one topic. Uh, bit like they just they, they just back basically factory reset it my page they try to slow oh, down shit, behind the dollar check fifty thousand dollar check overpaying for organic groceries not anymore meet thrive market an online or platform a lot of black youtubers that made everybody else want to be content creators because you uh whack 100 about the question is he should have really asked them what's up with nip here let's get to that but the reality of it is notice that the most important conversation that Dub C should have been talking to uh, Wack 100 about the questions he should have really asked him. What's up with Nip? That's a good point. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, that interview, 
that you see right here of Wack 100 and whoever that other dude is on this side over here. I don't know who it is. Why he didn't ask those questions about Nipsey Hussle? Why you say them things about Nipsey Hussle? Why did it seem like you was extorting Nipsey Hussle? Why were you dangling a sex tape? You know what I mean? Why were you, why you say what you say about Nipsey? You know what I'm saying? Those questions definitely should have been asked. Um, I agree with Hassan on that point. What's up with you and Nip? What's up with the military mind games? Let's get to that, huh? Let's get to that. Let's get to the minute. Let's get to the military mind games that y'all played on Nips. Let's get to the extortion. Let's get to the black the blackmailing. Let's get to how he lost his life. That's true. That's, uh, I definitely agree with that, man. Uh, those were some of the questions that should have been asked during that interview, which makes me. Think a little sideways, you know, politicking. Boys, it's a cold world. It's a cold world. See, Big U, let me say this to you, man. You got to understand something. The reality of it is your own people's dragged you so bad, my Muslim brother, that the people, the regular people like us, that come from New, New York. All right, I, I ain't got nothing. But other than that, man, y'all leave a comment down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Hassan Campbell. Um, new video, you know, him starting up the beef. Do you think... Him posting this video talking about WAC 100 is going to refire, reamplify, reunite the beef. Do you think WAC 100 is going to respond? And if he does respond, he's going to go to Clubhouse, I bet you. <laughs> WAC 100 is probably on Clubhouse right now talking about Hassan Campbell. I wouldn't be surprised. I, I would not be surprised if this internet back and forth between Hassan Campbell and WAC 100 goes back down. It is what it is, man. Y'all leave a comment down below. It's your boy, Damn D, signing out, man. Peace.